I got a call from Tashina. Tashina hit me like, hey, you spoke to Tommy. You heard about Tommy? And I didn't know this, but you were like there when, when Tommy passed. You yeah. You was at the hospital, yeah. Yes, yes, I was. Um, it was deep, you know, not to get into it because it's a sensitive subject for me, you know what I mean? Um, but I got a call, you know, Tommy and I, we, we spoke daily, if not daily, every other day. Um, he was really a true friend. He was a good friend, you know what I mean? And um, he was going through knee surgery. He had knee surgery at the time, and he um, he was going through rehab. And I had just spoke to him. I was like, yo, because I, I was like, you know, when you call somebody, they don't call you back. Hey, nigga, I called you, nigga. Yeah. Pick up the phone, nigga. I hit him with that, and he was like, man, I'm going through this knee surgery, and da-da-da. He's like, I just, I'm going through rehab. And that's the thing, too, because I seen it on his, like, Instagram page or social media page. And I was like, all right, cool. I was like, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be there next week, whatever. And he was like, all right. And um, after that, uh, I got a call from Tashina. Tashina hit me like, hey, you spoke to Tommy. You heard about Tommy? I was like, yeah, yeah, he, he hurt his knee. He in rehab. She was like, no. She was like, nah, he, he's not doing well. You got to get down here. And I was like, what you mean? And she was like, you, you got to come. You know, um, he he, something happened and he might not make it through the night. And I was like, stop. Like, you playing. Like, I just, like, like you know how shit be surreal? I was like, yo, I just talked to him. He was like, no, like, you playing with me right now, right? She's like, no, Carl, for real. She's like, I just got off the phone. And I was like, okay, okay. So I went and I immediately tried to book a ticket, but it was too late in the day that last flight was leaving already right so I had to catch like the five o'clock in the morning flight and I went straight to the hospital and it was crazy because I seen my man laying there man with the um it was just it wasn't cool you know what I'm saying like I didn't really want to see him like that it was just like it was so surreal because he was so full of life you know and um I think when when these uh, <sighs> um, I think when these kind of things happen, it it gives you a new perspective or it refreshes your um, perspective on life, and you start thinking about your own mortality and um, just how short life is, and how tomorrow's not promised, right? Like. So I always say there's no such thing as tomorrow because tomorrow is always today. You know what I'm saying? Which is a the present, which is a gift, so cherish it. That's why they call it the present, a present. And yeah, so yeah, I was there. Yeah. yeah.